Hi guys, so today I'm going to tackle mounting a phone and cameras and so forth on my bike. As you will probably see from some of the other videos or if you've even watched them, usually I am on a limited budget and I try to find the, the cheapest or best value way I can. So this was the first phone mount I bought for the bike. It was only a couple of euros off wish. Um, the idea was something to put my phone in that would be waterproof and I'd be able to see my GPS and because my sense of direction is terrible, I couldn't find my way out of a paper bag. Um, the, it's a pretty nice kit it, for what I paid for it, but the problem I had was, as you will see, this side is clear. So yeah, you can mount it on the bike, you can see your GPS, you can see your notifications, you can see your music tracks, whatever it is you're, you're into using it for. But now that I kind of started vlogging and recording adventures and things, if this is mounted on your bike, like so, yes, you can see it, but the back of the packet is a hard case. So your camera can film through it. So I'll put this aside for now. Maybe we'll donate it to somebody or somebody might find it useful. And instead we ordered these two, which the postman delivered yesterday. So let's have a look at what we got. And we'll um, do a quick look into the product and then we'll take it and we'll actually install it on the bike and show you the install process as well as taking a quick test ride and trying it out. So the first part oh well, at least I package it nicely so it doesn't get damaged. This little bar is what's going to hold the the phone mount, camera mounts, so forth. Um, I got this from Amazon, so I'll drop a little link in the description below uh, if you want to order one the same or something similar. It's nice satin black finish, bit of texture to it. Looks to be nice and solid metal and it's nice and durable. And it even has the V-Strom logo embossed on it here so it's gonna look nice on the bike that'll be the first thing it'll go on it'll sit just above the clocks on the v-strom and basically it mean that cameras will be able to see forward as well as phones for a gps and things will be right in your line of sight without having to look down like this at a tank bag or at the handlebars everything should just be a quick glance and safer, more convenient, less distracting. So that's the first part. The second part, and what I'm most excited about, is this little box. So this came from Quadlock. We'll take all the bits out and we'll show you what we have. Of course, stickers, promotion, can't blame them, we all do it. Uh, warranty book, uh, instruction manual, we might come back to that, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty straightforward. So, this is the first part. This is what actually mounts onto your bike. Include a nice little Allen key with a thumb on it for tightening them up. This will fit onto the, the handlebars of a mountain bike or a motorbike. Um, but in our case, we're going to use the, the little bracket that we showed you a minute ago. You get a couple of different adapters for it to allow for different sized um, handlebars or different sized mountings. And this is the important part. This is what actually locks onto the bike. So as you can see, there's four little locks here. You push in your tab, your case, which I'll show you in a second, clicks on here, and you can't release it. It's nice and solid unless you push and turn again. So it should be safe and no fear of the 
the phone flying down the road and hundreds of euros for new phones. Right, let's clear these out of the way for a second and show you what else we have. So the phone I have and which I'm doing some of this filming on right now is a Huawei P20. The Quadlock didn't have the P20 listed uh, but a friend has a P30 Pro, which I was looking at, and seems to be almost identical in shape, size, layout to the P20. So uh, I had a look. The measurements of the actual phone itself are exactly the same. And the P20 and the P30, the camera and the flash opening was exactly the same. So this fits perfectly onto a Huawei P20, P20 Pro, P30 and P30 Pro. It's a really nice case. It's got a small bit of kind of a rubbery texture to it, so it's anti-slip. It has a lip around the outside, so if your screen falls, it'll protect the screen. And it has openings for your chargers, your headphones, etc. Anything that you need to, to plug into the phone. Uh, so that's in there. That'll be going on the phone permanently, and it'll make it easy to... Uh, just stick it on the bike, take it off the bike every time we're using it. Um, now, I've heard that the Huawei P20 and the P30 are water resistant. I'm not sure how true that is. For a couple of quid extra, we're able to get this poncho. Uh, it's just a, a clear plastic cover, which will go over the phone and over the case. So if you are riding in bad weather and you need your GPS or something, you can cover it up and it's going to give your phone a bit more protection again. Probably wouldn't like to be trying it in a torrential downpour, but, you know, if you're going to get caught out in a light shower or something, it's great not to have to stop, take your phone off, put your phone away. Okay, shower's passed, let's go again. So, they'll be used. Right, uh, we're going to cut it here. I have a few things to do, and when we jump back in a minute... We'll be hopefully in the shed and ready to install it, which I can't imagine taking too long. But here goes. <laughs> for a little bit um yeah so i'm new to this whole idea of filming my little projects and things and this one became a bit of a head scratcher and while i was trying to figure it out batteries died uh so yeah better planning in future it seems that this the gps mount bracket doesn't work when you have the madstad screen so it should sit just here but because of the mad stat it wouldn't allow the gps bracket to mount up so a bit of head scratching and the answer seemed to be to make up a few little extra brackets uh, straightforward enough these were just some simple little strips of aluminium i had that were pre-drilled i used the hole here where the screen was and tied it in behind that now, I could have made them shorter, but I decided to leave them long. The GPS bracket will mount through the two bottom holes here, and that leaves me with the two top holes, which might, in future, be somewhere where we could look at mounting something else. So I'm gonna leave it for now. I've given it a quick shot of black paint just to, to tidy it up, so 
doesn't look like all loose little bits of metal all over the place um, but if I find that the, the new brackets that I made up are a bit intrusive or I don't find any use for them in future we might just take it apart nip them down a little bit further and refit then again but we're going to let the paint just dry off here now and then we'll attach the GPS bracket mount the screen back on and we'll, we'll put the quad lock on then and see how it all works.
Guys, I've been sitting here editing this video, trying to figure out how I'm gonna sum it up. And the only way to wind this video up is say, if you're looking for a phone mount, you can't, you just can't go past the quad lock. It's fantastic. I had a lot of cheap mounts for the car in particular that came from like Alibaba and Wish and AliExpress and all these. And they were great for sub five euro purchases. You know, you can only expect to get a couple of months out of it before it breaks or it gets loose. This quad lock setup, by the time you get all the bits, it seems expensive. But guys, once you touch it, it's really robust. It's really strong. It's really good quality. If you want to use your phone for GPS on your bike, or like me, you have action cameras that are Wi-Fi enabled, I connect the camera to my phone. And then as I'm riding, I can see the footage that's been recorded on my phone. Before that, a lot of times you'd set up the cameras, you'd set off riding and you'd forget to press record or you'd hit a bump and the camera would come loose or the mount would adjust or something and footage is all gone. So if you're doing anything like I'm doing, guys, seriously, it's well worth the money. Now, if Quadlock are watching this and they'd like to send me some of their other products, their car mount or their desk mount or anything to try, of course, I will greatly receive them. But even if they don't, I'm a small YouTuber. I have a few followers and a few views on my, view, on my videos. They're not really going to feel like they have to support me or see any value in supporting me. I'm probably going to end up buying the other products such as the desk mount and the car mount and maybe even the armband mount as well. Put the phone on here while you're out walking or jogging or working or things i just think they're great guys it's going to come with me for every bike i have and everybody i've spoken to about i recommend it to them um just one more thing before we go guys if you've been watching my videos i know they have been very much product review type videos lately it's due to the covid lockdown we haven't really been able to travel that's been lifted the end of this month. And while there won't be any international trips, I'd say this year, we're definitely going to go out and explore and show you some of the sites and the roads and things that can be seen around Ireland. So bear with me, guys. It will come as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.